Welcome back to NTD Asia Brief. In world news, in the midst of Israel's Negev desert, a researcher is building an affordable solar energy system. Our very own Israeli correspondent went to meet him. We need about 2,000 of them in order to produce... Professor David Feynman is a dedicated and solar and energy researcher. Energy. He has invented an affordable energy collecting system. The size of the photovoltaic cells is 2,000 times smaller than in the conventional system. The sun rays are concentrated from a glass dish to the cells. If instead you use a, a dish, a smaller dish of about um, just 10 square meters rather than 20 square meters, and a single cell just four inches by four inches uh, to provide the electricity, then the whole cost of the system, the main cost of the system, is the dish itself. And since dishes are made out of metal and glass and conventional materials, in terms of dollars per watt, they're very, very much cheaper than conventional photovoltaics. In theory, this is a technological breakthrough. It is cheaper than coal-fired, nuclear or even hydroelectric plants. Another benefit is that its use and production creates no pollution. The dish used for the research is 2,000 square meters, but Professor Feynman explained that the size can be reduced for domestic use. And this kind of dish would uh, you would place on in the garden of your house or possibly on the roof if it's a flat roof and that would provide most of the energy requirements of a convention of a typical household. Professor Feynman shares with us his hopes for the future generations. I hope that the situation with my grandchildren is that they will talk to their parents one day and say is it true that once upon a time people didn't use solar energy for generating electricity? Professor Feynman also believes that if we find a cheaper way to store and transport electricity, the Sahara Desert could become Europe's power plant station. NTD, Negev Desert, Israel.